with an opening comments, and then uh, we'll go to questions or anything. Coach? You know, I'm really proud of our, our team. Our, I think uh, our, and our assistant coaches did a really nice job of preparing. We had good practices. Um, we came in and competed extremely hard, had a good plan, and, and we're able to jump up and get a lead. Uh, I knew it was going to be hard to hold on to it. They got really good players and really good coaches, so we knew they were going to make a run back. I was encouraged when we answered it and went back and got another touchdown. Um, but eventually, they you know wore us down, made a lot of plays, and ended up uh, beating us. Coach, you talked a lot about earlier this week. You said your team is fearless. Um, just what do you think of their fearlessness tonight to come in here and lead for most of the game? Yeah, I was really proud of them. You know, I think that we have really good leadership. Um, we wanted to, to be tough. We wanted to try to match their their speed and their physicalness. And for most of the night, we, we did a pretty good job of that. Um, but nobody blinked. Our guys played extremely hard. We've got to try to build build on that. We've got a really not tough game next week, too. So it just keeps getting getting better. Coach, on Monday, you talked about you want your guys to play fast. Come here, play fast. How do you think they did with that? Tonight? I think they did a good job. You know, the thing you, you always worry about when, you know, there's a little bit of a, a mismatch in, in personnel is that we, get a little wide-eyed and don't really believe that we can play with them and don't believe we can win because then things happen that don't normally happen um, and our guys didn't do that you know they believed that we would go find a way to win the game they played extremely hard they made a lot of plays you know it was, it was a, a good night for for most of it um, with our team um, we do want to win the game that was the, the you know the reason we came here but Arkansas is a really good football team. You can't say enough about how well coached they are and how, how many really good players they have. You talk about not blinking, but th throughout the whole week, you know, people are telling them, oh, you're just an FCS team, taking on number 10 team in the country. What was the focus like going out throughout this whole week? And you're up 10 there in the fourth quarter on a number 10 team. Just, uh, what was it throughout this week that made that possible? We just wanted to focus on, on being tough, being physical. And, you know, I think the, the one number one lesson that football teaches uh, players is how to be tough, you know, how to overcome obstacles, how to overcome setbacks, how to take a hit and not blink and come back. And, you know, it's, it's going to pay off for them. You know, it's going to pay off for them when they have to drive 12 hours with no sleep to take care of their sister who just went into the hospital. So that's what we were talking about. But they do a good job. You get the ball back uh, down 31-27. What, what were you thinking when you were putting the offense back on the field with a chance? Yeah, I thought we'd have a chance to go drive and, and score, and um, we got a little bit overwhelmed with their pass rush at that time. And that was the, you know, the, I wish we could have finished the fourth quarter better offensively. And we, weren't, we weren't able to do it. What did you see that you could take advantage of uh, you know, on their defense and were able to do there early? I mean, we, we really just tried to execute our offense. And, Tried to you know mix in the run, mix in some quick passes, take some shots down the field, um, try to get in some favorable third down situations. I thought we executed pretty well in, in third down situations, um, and our guys made plays. You know they made catches and runs after catch, and um, that was really good to see. I'm sure since it was so close, you just think of the little plays in there that you thought. Hey, if it goes a different way, you have a, you, know, you, come, you might come out on top. Just what are you thinking about just kind of after the game, just how close you guys were there? Yeah, I mean, the only thing I was thinking about is how proud I am of our players. You know, they came in and, and did the best they possibly could do, competed as hard as they possibly could compete, put it all out there on the field. Um, we were going to talk about the ability to look in the mirror and, and – uh, like what we saw and how, how our effort was as we looked in the mirror. And I think they all can look in the mirror and, and really be proud of how hard they played and how hard they competed. We've so talked hard. a lot about offensive line play throughout the early part of the season. It, it had its moment. It looked good tonight uh, for the most part, maybe wore down towards the end against the, the depth they yeah, had. Yeah, I've been happy the way we've improved, you know, between our first game, obviously, and second and, and tonight for most of the game. And they got us a little bit in that fourth quarter, but uh, you know we were able to run the ball. I thought Jacardier did a really nice job of running hard and physical and getting yards after contact. We weren't able to break any big ones, but we made a lot of really big runs um, that helped us convert. You know, uh, get into third down conversion uh, situations, and then 
a really nice play there on the fourth and one that we practiced hard and executed really well. So Jason is the ultimate competitor. You know, his ability to run out there and get first downs and run in the end zone. And, um, you know, he's, he's just a great, great competitor and everybody rallies around him. Did you have that drawn up in that situation the whole week, that fourth and one play action deep? We've worked on it for a while, yeah. It's incredible what you've done in the two years there at Missouri State in the playoffs. And then tonight, leading going into the fourth quarter, where does this kind of stack up among the, the building blocks you put together there at Missouri State? I mean, it's been fun. You know, it's been really fun to watch the players' beliefs change and how much more they believe in themselves now and how much their expectations have changed and how they expect to go um, through practice, how they expect their teammate to practice hard. So that's been the, the greatest, uh, I guess, part of it is, is to watch the players' expectations change and, and uh, them grow and come together as a family. We're all from everywhere, you know. Our, our team is from all across the country. If you look at our roster, it's like, oh, where are we recruiting at? Where's our recruiting base? America, that's our recruiting base. <laughs> Because we're from everywhere, and to be able to come together says a lot about the assistant coaches, and says a lot about the leaders on the team. Coach, you, the feeling, the feelings you got when you walk in the stadium for the first time. You're busy at work, and then actually walk in here for the first time that decade. What, what ran through your mind? Yeah, it's very good to block it everything out till probably after the game. Coach, your defense was able to force two turnovers from quarterback KJ Jefferson tonight. Do you view that as a pretty big deal? I'm proud of them. You know, I think we had to hit hard and try to strip. And we've been talking for two weeks about creating turnovers and getting fumbles. And we keep telling them they'll come in bunches when they come. We just didn't get a, we just didn't get a big enough bunch. You, Coach, on a team, you know, moving forward, what does this do for your confidence? You got playmakers, guys that made plays tonight in an environment like this, silence the crowd. But moving forward, in you know, South Dakota State next week and your remaining schedule, that's got to give you confidence, right? Yeah, we. I think we'll have confidence. It's also a real tough opponent that we play that are really good. So we've got to, you know, get healed up, do a good job of um, hydrating and getting in the training room and getting our bodies right, um, and then get out on the practice field and get ready for South Dakota State. And learn from this. That's always what you want to do when you get beat is learn from it. Um, make sure that we get better from it. Then we got to put it behind us and go forward and get ready for South Dakota State. It's early, but what's what's the thing that you learned the most tonight? Yeah, probably a little bit too early to figure that out. You well, said that it hit after the game, um, walking out, just kind of emotions. Just what were those emotions? Yeah, it just, it just hit me a little bit. You got to see some former players as you're coming off the field. I saw you got to embrace DJ Williams. You guys won a lot of games together. What does it mean to see some of your former guys who you got the team? Yeah, it was fun. Those are guys I've battled with before and won a lot of games with, and they put a lot of sweat and blood and tears on the field. Uh, so it was great to see them. What do you think you guys proved tonight? Because, I mean, there's alerts going on everybody's phones saying Arkansas is an upset alert and everything, but you guys were able to do that throughout. What do you think you showed everybody that this program's capable of? I didn't have my phone with me. Oh, we, we, we saw it. I'm just, I'm just telling you. I didn't get to see them. Uh, <laughs> but what, I, what do you think you showed? What do you just from? What do you, you hope know, they I, took away? I think we showed we're a tough team, and we got guys that are great competitors and love to play the game of football, and um, we're getting better at executing the game. And uh, you know, we, we really need to go win next week's game. All right, coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.